Have we got a story to tell you? <laughs> so, today was the best day of our lives. The best. That word did not come out. Lives. You want to tell it? I feel like your version's probably going to be funnier. Okay. So, this, no, we're going to start from the beginning. <laughs> so yesterday, Jamie decides to ask us if we want to come to this dinner. Okay. So she invited us if we wanted, or she received such <laughs> Um, or asked if we wanted to come and we we're like, mm, okay. I was not feeling it, but okay. Thanks for Carrington because I, I knew something about it. I knew it. <laughs> I knew something about it. That's that. so Raven part two. Um, okay. So then earlier today I went to the movies and then I told Carrington, okay, I'm going to come. So she sent me Daniel's address, which is the home right now. So whatever. I I'm supposed to be here at 4.30. I leave my house at 4.06. So then I'm stressing to get here. Then I run out of gas. I have to go get gas. Then I get here. Whatever. Forgot to put my white strips in, so had to get put my white strips in when I got here. Then we get in the car and we start driving. And we were in the car for like what? 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. And we missed the exit. And you know what? It's a good thing we didn't get yeah, on that seriously. because there's like no exits once you get there on that. On that. That's whatever. super true. That was Jesus. That was the Lord telling us something. We're going to have to make him read his Bible when he gets home because the Lord just did him a favor. So. We missed the exit, so then we get off on the other exit because we were going to make a U-turn to get back on. And Daniel was being really quiet. Oh, pause. You need to tell the moment before you got off on the exit. <laughs> I'll bleep out a word. But <laughs> I went to go to um, lunch with my friend today, and we were talking about our little, like, Halloween idea. And she hasn't met Daniel yet, but she was like, oh, my gosh, we can put Daniel in our little Halloween idea. So I'm trying to tell him this, and that's what made him not be able to get over, right? Or was he just yeah, trying to get over? Yeah, because apparently you were talking or... Anyways, me. I'm literally telling a story. I was not being rude. I was not being sassy. I was just being polite. And he goes, can you please shut the up for five seconds? <laughs> and I was like, okay, solid. So that happened. So he was like, no one was talking or anything. Yeah. And it was really awkward because I was in the back seat and I was just like, oh. So, <laughs> whatever. So we like do the U-turn and then all of a sudden he was like, you guys see that smoke? And I was like, ugh. What? I legit thought we were going to blow up. No. I did too. That's why I was like, I was asking, I was like, should we get out of the car? Like, because yeah. I was scared. I was like, I'm not about to be in this car if it's going to blow up. <laughs> so I was like, oh, we don't see any smoke. But I was like, check to see if your like engine thing mm -hmm. is like overheating. And it was like all the way on, on yeah, it was like on red. the H. So I was like, oh crap. So then he was like, do you guys not see the smoke? And we were like, no, we can't see it. So he like turned into like this like um, industrial park area. And as soon as he turned, I saw the smoke. And so he got out of his car. And he lifted the hood, and there was, like, smoke, like, billowing out of it. <sighs> yeah. Uh -huh. So we, like, got out of the car. <laughs> and at this point, like, we are supposed to meet at this dinner. It was, like, 5.15 at that time. And we yeah. were supposed to be there at 5.30. Well, actually, she said between 5 and 5.30. And we yeah. were still, like, 15 minutes away. Yeah. And this happened to his car. So whatever, I was like, okay, we'll get an Uber. Not a problem. <laughs> whatever, we'll get an Uber. I call my dad, and I'm like, Okay, hey, this this is what happened in the car. We can't drive it, blah, blah, blah. Um, we need to get an Uber. I don't have the app. So I downloaded the app, and he was like, okay, you need to get Uber Black because that's the cheap one. You don't want to do the Uber X because that's the expensive one. So I was like, okay. So then I go, and I add my card because his card's the one on the account. And I was like, oh, I don't want it to charge his card because, like, it's my, like, it's whatever, our, our stuff. So, like, I want to charge my card. So I like go and put my card in, but it like doesn't let me select like which card I want it to charge. So I was like, whatever, I'm sure I can do that like after the fact. So the Uber guy shows up, picks us up, takes us around there, picks him up. Fine, we're good to go. Like we were like, okay, we are good. Yeah, we're like, fine. Nothing else bad can happen tonight. <laughs> well, my, what was going through my mind as we were driving there was I've never taken an Uber before. This is my first ever Uber experience. And we're getting kidnapped because I had no idea where we were. And I yeah. kept saying that. I was like, where are we? Like, this We're is supposed to go to this nice place, apparently, because it was like in the really nice part of town. But everywhere around us was like, yeah, and not Yeah, do you remember when it. I said like, um, how apparently like the Uber X or whatever, like they, they're going to pick us up at a Mercedes. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. I wonder why the guy wasn't like, you are in the nice one. <laughs> no. Okay. We're insulting him. It's <sighs> probably the charge so much. Yeah, probably. Okay, so then we get there, and I'm like, okay, how do I pay? And he was like, oh, they'll send you an email to the email on your account. Well, the email on my account is, like, an email that I haven't used in years, and I don't know the password to it anymore. So, like, I go inside, and, like, I'm like, okay, whatever. I'll just try to log in my email, and I couldn't log in. So, I get, like, on the Uber app, 
and they charge us for a 10 10 was, minutes 10 minutes no more in the car we were in the car more than 10 minutes yeah they charged us I almost said 15 70 I wish dollars to my to my like that's car. all three of our meals not even because everything on that menu was like seven bucks yeah that was a really good price to me to price. I need to go back there but so whatever I get there and I'm pissed because I'm like I just got paid like I'm trying to save money I cannot be spending seventy dollars on a car ride yeah like, that's, that's messed ridiculous up. that's worse than New York like just taking a cab in New York so, so yeah so uh, no we, we get there and like I'm trying to call Uber I'm trying to figure this all out no one's answering so then I like call AOL because like that's the email like I'm trying to I can't get into my thing that was the like, funniest conversation I've ever heard in my well, entire I'm just, life like, I'm trying to like get into my account because I'm like okay maybe like if I get to my account I'll be able to like switch which card it like puts the money on yeah okay, get in my account I'll call the lady I'm not gonna say what race she was but <laughs> <laughs> she was dumb but she was dumb she had the IQ of a pea a little green pea that you get out of a can <laughs> oh my gosh. She was awful. And she kept saying, I'm not even gonna say what she was gonna say. So I hung up on her. I didn't even say, have a good day, kiss my butt, nothing. <laughs> I hung up on her. And before this, we went inside to go ahead and get a table because we had to get a table for 10 people. So Daniel's outside calling this insurance he's called three times and they keep hanging up on him. So he's in a bad mood dealing with something and she's in a bad mood <laughs> dealing with something else. You and were I, in a bad mood. <laughs> because everyone else in around me was in a bad mood. We were all in a bad mood. <laughs> so Sorry whatever, we we're sitting there and everybody, everybody else from our party walks in. <laughs> you don't need to put that in there. <laughs> Please let me put it at the end. <laughs> We're grounded. <laughs> we're adults, but we're still also, gonna be grounded. <laughs> public service announcement. If anybody's seen a little hand, <laughs> that's another thing. Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Stop <laughs> capping you. <laughs> come here. Come join the video. Come here, circle butt. <laughs> this dog sits at the. <laughs> this dog sits at the top of the stairs. I don't know if you can see him. Can you see that? That is the most stressed out little dog I've ever seen in my entire life. Back to the story. Hold so on. We were, you know, we were sitting at dinner. Sorry. Okay. I was going to say, talk about the hand real fast. Oh, I'll tell you the story about the hand. Okay, so I have this little hand that sticks on your finger. Mm-hmm. Nice teeth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Let's keep a tiny little hand. And we were using it to coach. We were using it when we were coaching. And my friend Igor. <laughs> Igor, if you're watching this, we know you have it. <laughs> we know you stole it. <laughs> you say you don't know, but we know you did. <laughs> and he was using it. And then he gave it back to me. And then the next day. Oh, this was the next day. No, it wasn't the next day. Oh, it was the same because day? Because we were like, Brayden, go get it back. And he goes, oh, you wanted oh, it yeah, back? Oh, yeah, that's right. So I was using it or whatever with my class, or whatever, and then I put it. We had this little basket where we keep all our phones, where all the coaches keep their crap. Mm -hmm. Like no kid usually touches that. Coaches, so like our cell phones, chapstick, whatever. So I put that little little hand in there, and the thought that went through my mind was, "Hello, are you crazy?" I'm on my computer though. Yeah, what you do is you just type in here. Let me find it. If y'all want uh, Molly's Spotify username. Molly, page 926. Everyone add me. <laughs> All right, text me when you get it, though, okay? I'm trying to make a, I'm trying to make a video. Hello? Hi. Okay, hi. <laughs> Don't interrupt us. We have interruptions in every one of our videos. Oh, All two of them. Call. Okay, so anyways, I stuck it in my basket, <laughs> walked to the other room, and then, but the thought that ran through my mind was, I shouldn't keep this here because I'm scared that someone's going to um, steal it. Guess what happened? And then, Brynn came back out after I was in that room for five minutes. Five minutes, legitimately. And it was gone. So then I went full on psychotic <laughs> rage mode. I was yelling. 10 out of 10. Okay, I was 10 out of 10. V, V angry. Okay? It's it means one. very, but just me. <laughs> so... Hazel, who we work with, said that she saw a kid playing with it. So, moral of the story, don't let your kids steal. 
and buy us a new hand. I will put Igor. our P.O. box in the down bar below. <laughs> or Igor, you could just bring it back to the gym. <laughs> okay, so anyways, what part of the story were you at? Oh, yeah. We get in this, we get this nice Uber. I already said that part. Oh, yeah, the nice Uber. Like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, tissues, water bottles, Dumb. Then an Oxford. I should have asked for that Oxford if I knew I was going to pay $70. Um, we would have been no. bumping. <laughs> we were at the, where you called the lady on the phone about your Oh, email. yeah, anyway, so I hung up on her, and then we had dinner, whatever, it was fine. And then I was like, they were like, I'm, we're not paying $70 to get back to where we came from. Right. And so we're like, oh, we'll just ride with Jamie on the way back, or she can take us to the car or whatever. Which no couldn't happen because they came in a car and they packed that thing full. A car. So at first I called my friend Anthony because I was like, oh, I'll get him to come pick us up. Which I'm still mad at you if you're watching this. I'm still mad. <laughs> he told me I'm with my cousins. I'll call you in ten. It's, it's been, been three 10. hours. <laughs> it is ten. <laughs> so then I was like, oh, I'll call my friend Catherine. She was there. <laughs> she could have come pick us up. She was in town. That's okay, I probably know. So then I called Brayden. Brayden is her brother. He likes to be called Broaden. <laughs> that little boy came in close. <laughs> I love you. Shout out to Broaden. <laughs> he came, picked us up, and then he took us back to the car, and now we're here. Um, yeah, we but then- sorry, sorry for not vlogging. <laughs> yeah, we should have Thumbs up that. if you want to vlog us, vlog us next but time. But we have to tell them happening. our stupid part of it. So, anyways, oh, who yes. told us that little recollection? Was that Daniel? Uh-huh. It was the Uber person. His name was Daniel. <laughs> I'll tell you why that's funny. Because, <laughs> anyways, Daniel told us that Uber, your dad said to do Uber Black. And it's your witness. Yes. Her dad said choose Uber Black. And then there's Uber X, right? So the way it works on the app is it goes Uber X, Uber Special, Uber Black. And he said, Molly, you need to do Uber Black because that's the cheap one. Don't do Uber X because you'll be paying an arm and a leg. Oh, I do pay an arm and a leg. Probably paid a kidney too. I was like, okay, whatever. Because like, I'm naive. I've never done um, We're Uber young. before. He's the businessman. He does Uber all the time. Screw you. You were wrong. So anyways, we got it mixed up. And then we looked to see how much it would cost for us to go to point A to point B like we just did. That cost us $17. <laughs> 12 to $16. I could have done 20 of rides. <laughs> and we had a coke to have a free... Where'd that, where'd that coke do? I don't know. That coke didn't even do it. <laughs> and we had a code and everything. And nothing worked out in our favor. That's funny. The Uber person, Daniel, is funny because then Molly was like, I'm going to call my dad and tell him he told us wrong. And he's the reason that I spent my 70 bucks. Well, and we were like, okay, um, what are we going to do? Go say just Daniel told us? Or are we going to say an Uber person told us? What's going to be more believable? So she was like, okay, we'll say an Uber person told us when Daniel actually told us. But so, Daniel obviously knows a lot about Uber. <laughs> yeah. So he's an Uber person. <laughs> Okay. My dad is not happy. <laughs> Be mad. Be. <laughs> so yeah, that was our day in the life of Molly and Carrington. Yeah, now we're at Daniel's house and he's driving super slow because of that fact. And he's at AutoZone and I have no idea where he is. And we're waiting for him to get home. And it's 10 o'clock. This is how Kylie Jenner talks. Mm. <laughs> mm. That was so good. <laughs>